One of the nice thing with the Mazda 3 platform is its many trim levels. Often parts from different trim will just bolt on as an OEM upgrade. Or at least most of the time it bolts on. For example, if you want to install power seat in your Mazda 3, the seats itself bolts into place, but the wiring harness is different. And that's why in this episode, I'm going to be showing you guys how I wired up my Mazda Speed seats. So before we start, I just wanted to mention that this is a 2012 Mazda 3 Sky Active. And it's the GS trim, so it's a mid-level trim. And this is a Canadian car. So depending on the area you're in the world, the trim levels might be a bit different and the interior options might also be different. All right, so I'm not fully done wiring everything, but to give you guys a quick uh, idea the harness itself uh, it wires in pretty much the same uh, like a lot of the wire just match up with the same color you just got to be careful some of like for example this blue wire it has two dots on it while there's another blue wire like this one <clears throat> it only has one so uh, there's a few example like that um, these two wires and the harness, the green and pink, there's there's two of them and they're intertwined together. So that's why I knew they, they went together. And then, uh, cause there's another pink in here and another green, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, there's another green here, but these three wires, I'm assuming it might be for a memory seat. Uh, cause I haven't seen, I haven't found a use for them. And when I had them wired, in the white Mazda 3, I didn't have any issues with just having them not wired in. Uh, when it comes to power, the black is the ground and the harness, and the gray is the power. You can do it two ways. You could directly bring that to the battery if you wanted. Uh, what I did found though, I rerouted the cable all the way in here, all the way here. I fitted it in here and then I found right here so there's a ground grounding for other wires right there so I grounded it uh, there so even though this is a manual seat car if I look at the outlet the for the fuse box right here uh, there's a power seat fuse right here there you go uh, so it would mean that it's this one right here, the 30 amp. So behind it, it's actually a gray wire. So I've, I looked at the wire all the way through and I found that uh, it's actually coming through this harness right here and it's coming right here uh, to this gray, gray wire. So this is actually a power outlet. Now, typically this uh, whole um, connector is actually connecting in the uh, clip right here. But since this is a manual power seat, when I look at the other side, there's no plug or anything where the power would go. So what I'm gonna do, I'm probably just gonna pull this wire out and directly gonna wire it to the power to be able to get power to the seat. And that's pretty much it uh, to wire in the seat. Now I had the exact same uh, wiring set up in the white Mazda 3 and I didn't have an airbag light, the heated seat also worked in it. So everything was working that way. Uh, so basically I just need to tidy up the wiring and put the seat in and that'll be pretty much, uh, that'll be it for the seat. And that's how I wired up my Mazda Speed seats in my Mazda 3. If you'd like to see the full build process for this Mazda 3, go check it out right here. If you have any questions, let me know in the comments below and we'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching.